Ash Bang does well. It is perfect. He is just being driven away further and further. Peaks what? it. No scope. Peaks out again. And now Zantaris knows it's all in the palm of his hand. He knows it's not being diffused. He's got the information. He's got the time. Oh and my he's got God. the play. Zantaris with the 3K. The strategy to the same extent. Yeah, we get to see the nice slow-mo of that one. Another early advantage going their way. Nico getting some revenge for Mirage, but Broki has been given some revenge for IEM. Since taking down Rain, if I'm not wrong, that was just a straight wall bang despite being flashed. Wall bang, flash, and a headshot. That is style point and a half. And speaking of style points, Zach Ooh. Harris will pick up some. Kirby's at it. <coughs> You can pick on the window pick. <laughs> Left side window. We can uh, bench one more. We can shot. One. On the ground, 40 HP. He's going up one up. Uh, short. We can short. Cut well. can go down to his hands, then that will be a pretty big part of the burden that goes with him. Flashbang in, could not have been better. Oh what? my God, he flicked headshots <laughs> RPK. That is outrageous. Start to wonder, is FaZe going to find themselves around? And with one more kill added to the tally, I have to say this should be their first on their terrorist side. Searson, one on three, does find the pass. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a dear. 1v1. He's found the bomb. Sirson says tea time is wrong, and it's all down to him versus Nico. The 1v1 to decide the fate of FaZe. Nico, the man behind the helm, and who better to take charge? Who better to take point for Sirson? The idea that he's there. However, Yuri gets up into the site. Elise has missed his timing, and oh dear, it is going to fall onto Elise. Yuri with the locket. He knows he has an inkling of where he's coming from, but he gets caught with the nade out. Cold doesn't hit the shot, though. Searson given a chance, and oh! there it is. And had a deed for Boric. That is what Heroic are relying on to keep them in this game, oh, and it's the wrong no! boost. Oh no! Why are you doing that? You know? Yeah, if you've got some sort of pocket strategy, if you've got some sort of new play that you've got in mind this is the time to pull it out you don't have the weapons you don't have the chance to win just on the individual duels and we're already seeing that device gets the first nico knife out knife out in the smoke oh my oh, god no. device is still sitting here they don't know how close they are they just touched they touched in the smoke but device is the one who comes away with it two kills for him and only three more needed for astralis to take every single t round in this second ot Yep, this is going to be a 21 to 18 scoreline of Astralis. Can you just close these final few kills? And it's looking locked in now. It's just four up and he'll go down. 21 to Round winning position. Archie smoked off. Broland, big dig. That's a bomb that gets dropped as well. Can he rinse another one? Not quite. Playing waste for the oncoming tees. Now knows as a player just above him, which is MBK. Flush has made no noise. He has kept his position completely Stealthy playing incognito. Flush oh, oh my god! He just as Magist rounds the corner, the timing might be right for Magist to get something going here. Oh, he's gonna go unseen. 
This is huge. Magisk has so much control right now. This is a chance for Strauss back into this. This B bomb site becomes a big problem. Two players currently on it, and they're completely unaware. Magisk is all the way behind him. Spots Nico. Oh, he whiffs the spray. Oh. He goes down, Magisk. Now three CT stacked on B. I guess where Astralis looked to be going, Dinko. It's the B site. The triangle of death here. Heroic need to try and get these kills, but Esther Pike has just taken away Borup. Absolutely no problem. Magisk following up as well. Finally, Astralis winning a couple of these duels. Feels like that just wasn't happening. That near kill, though, is huge from Stown. That keeps it even into this retick. It gives a chance to Heroic to win this round. And Stown is still moving forward. He's going to be caught nearly there in the open. I thought Dupree was about to peek around, but Stown getting close. He could still take this kill somehow. Close up and personal. The second kill from Stown as well through the smoke. He is delivering as Gliv tries to throw the Molotov, but the smoke is just being deployed. Gliv realizes he needs to go into the open, and Stown is going to shut him down as well. That's probably looked up to some of these uh, VPs. Oh, the Kinder. This isn't fair, Yakinda is on another level already. He's got, what is it, 11 frags, 2 deaths, naked, 4, is we going to get a second ace in 5 rounds? This is too much. 5 HP, and he's about to get an ace, I feel it, I feel it coming, G. There it is. Thank you. Two that move in shortly thereafter. And so it's all on Grim. Last round of OT in this first half of it. So he's definitely looking to give this a go. And with two of these players so low, this is actually like a pretty dangerous round still for Fury. Now they should be able to trade this cleanly. A lot of this is going to come off of this first fight between Grim and Yuri. And he does force oh, him out yeah. into the open. Now that he's won that, it's a 1v2 versus 20 HP split between two players. And while they are trying to play a crossfire, while they are trying to trade off of one another, Grim is taking the fights to them. Just one bullet needs to land and he Ooh. does find it, the defuse. Oh, it's... Ooh, Yuri. Good Oof. for one, and he's going to put up a real stellar hold here down in the pit. Four in the round, looking for the ace. Probably not going to get it. If I had to guess, someone in the site might steal it away. I'm looking at you, Henny and Kesarato. Yuri chases it down, and he puts five on.